Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a neat new little micro FPV racer. This is the Ishii QX90C Pro. Um, actually, I'm kind of, uh, I was flying this around indoors last night, and I was kind of impressed at the, the lift this thing has. It has a lot, quite a bit of punch for a little uh, micro FPV racer, but let's get it out of the box, show you what you get. You get, and this is the basic version, folks. I, I believe I got the basic version. Let me double check on the box. No, I'm sorry, the standard version, the one up from the, the basic version. With the standard version, you get three batteries, okay? Uh, I got one, I got two, and I got one, one battery already plugged in to the quadcopter, or inserted into the quadcopter. You also get a battery charger, and you also get a spare set of propellers, and a screwdriver. There is a uh, version above this, the advanced version, that you get a multi-charger to go with the batteries, and you get two more batteries. You get uh, five uh, sets of batteries, and you get five sets of props also. And also you get a spare frame and a spare canopy too, in case you <laughs> break this. Okay, you got a spare frame and canopy. So that's, that's pretty cool too. Let's put this down, box down and discuss this particular quadcopter. Uh, what is special about it? What do I like? It has on-screen display, you know, and telemetry. I got the FreeSky version. The FreeSky version's got telemetry. Um, it also has a 600 TVL camera, 25 milliwatt transmitter, and uh, 48 channels, okay? And it's NTSC. It's loaded up with an omnibus flight control board with loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.1. And I did also mention, also mention this is available in FreeSky. And with the FreeSky version, is the receiver is integrated into the flight control board. There's no separate uh, flight control board. And you can access the receiver button by popping the top of this. It's just these two little pins that you, you know, I'm not going to do it here, but you can pop the top real easily just prying this open like so. Um, again, also there's a FlySky version and a DSM-2, DSM-X version. Now those two other two versions do not have an integrated flight control board, um, so you know, keep that in mind. They, I think they're a little bit heavier because of that, because it has a, a separate flight control board, uh, the weight of that to be implemented. But again, I mentioned that this thing has on-screen display and a buzzer and telemetry. So, you know, it's pretty loaded for a little micro FPV racer. You know, I, I really like the idea of on-screen display. Now, in a micro. Now, last night, I was flying this, and the first thing I noticed is one of these props flew off. So, when you get yours, make sure to push down on all these props. Get them in there good, because they were installed very loosely out of the box, okay? Every one of them. So, keep that in mind. You, you want to uh, push those props down a little bit further. So that's about it. Uh, let's fire this up and see how it performs. I'm going to be flying this with my uh, uh, T8SG universal transmitter and we'll see how this performs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, the first thing I want to do is turn on my T8SG. And again, I got it set to free sky. I believe I need to reset it to D8. This is a free, hold on, I'll tell you in a second. Pretty sure it's D8. Right now I got it in D16. Hold on. And to do such, all I got to do is press this button here, go into model menu, model setup, load, and I have this, all these set up, FreeSky D8, DSM-2, FlySky, I got them all in here. All I got to do with the T8SG is select it. And now I'm FreeSky D8. And we are set up. Okay. So, and again, the way I got this set up today is this setting will be, all the way up will be uh, angle mode. This setting here will be air mode. Doesn't seem to be air mode. Oh, I don't have it armed yet. And this bottom setting here will be acro. So let's arm it and take to the air. Just show it to you up close. Now, like I said, this thing has punch. <laughs> this is a punchy little micro. I'm gonna use this entire battery flying uh, line of sight just to show you this. It is a mean little machine. I hope it performs similarly when I'm flying acro with it here shortly doing FPV, but the way it is now, it is a monster. Now I'm not going to be uh, flying, well, what the hey. Let's, let's land it. And what I'm going to do is, let's, let's do it, see if we can do a little flip or two. Okay, going to acro. We're in acro. Going up. 
<laughs> do I lost? And I lost orientation right away. So that's why I didn't want to do that. We're not going to do any more of that. Luckily, I got a spare set of props. Let me make sure I didn't bend any. And I did. That's why I did not want to do that. <laughs> I did bend a prop. I will just simply unbend it. And hope that's good enough. So, there we go. Checking the props. That one's straight. So, I shouldn't have done that. But there we go. Okay, Army again. Staying in angle mode this time. So, yeah, this is a mean little machine. Lots of power. So, hold on. Did I even mention what the size motors this has? I got that on my list here. Hold on a second. Let me land it just for a bit. The yeah, motors on this. Did I mention them? I did not, but I will get that for you here and include it right here. <laughs> telling you what size motors these are. Because these, they look like... They look like 8.5s. <laughs> they actually do. Let's bring it in a little closer. But lots of... Lots of oomph on this thing. So, yeah, I can't wait to fly this thing at FPV. I don't want to break it anymore. So we're going to call it quits here shortly. Let me bring it in closer. Just plop it around here. Take a look at it up close. So you can see it. Wow, I mean, wow. This is gonna be exciting. <laughs> yeah, so let's go into FPE flying this thing. I'm gonna land it here. Got it. And let's go into some FPV flying this thing. Hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, putting on my goggles, got them on, and it's selecting uh, acro and arming and let's take to the air okay starting out slow to see what it can do now one thing I noticed right away you get a lot of a uh, lot of propeller <laughs> in the picture but damn this thing's fast wow. <laughs> wow 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 let's go up higher I want to try something okay that's no problem did that without a problem, how about a forward flip? No problem at all. Do I got range on it? Let's go around the pole. No, <laughs> stay a little closer there. We were reaching the edge of the uh, reception range, so we're gonna keep a little bit closer than the pole. But yeah, this thing's fast. Let's go down between the trees. <laughs> wow. Again, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of reception issues there. Don't want to go too far with this. But it's fast. <laughs> oh, wow. Super fast. It just wants to zip. Let's go the other way. Coming by us again. Going by us again there. My wife's having a, probably having a hard time keeping an eye on this. This goes, it buzzes by so fast. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh oh oh. <laughs> it goes so fast. You're, you're, you know, you're out of the. You're almost out of range in a second or two. You know. Let me let me land this for a second. See if uh, I can identify the um, reception antenna and maybe adjust it a bit. I'm going to, why did I do that? <laughs> I disarmed it. Could you get it for me, Ed? I'm gonna pop the top, folks, and I wanna see if I can identify the reception antenna on this, and maybe you move it out, but I am not seeing the receiver antenna. Oh, there it is, there it is. But anyways, this is what it looks like inside, and uh, let's put the top back on. Top is back on, but there's the receiver antenna, and uh, I don't know why it just didn't seem to be receiving properly. Let's move it down here 
underneath. I pushed it down underneath. Hopefully that'll prove the uh, reception range. And put the, the drone back on the ground for me. That's my wife. Put it over there. Let's see if that improves the reception range. So going back to the air, I got 3.7 volts. Probably getting a little low. I gotta watch that voltage. Going back up again, yeah, 3.5. I'm gonna call it quits at 3.3. But again, you know this thing, I'm in stabilized mode, ain't I? Acro, or air. air. Let's try air mode. I mean, wow. <laughs> this thing moves. Oh yeah, if you want to do uh, loops and rolls, you want to go to air mode with this. It does them nice, well, it did it nicely there for a bit. <laughs> I hope I got that. Okay, we're going to call it quits here with this battery and go to another battery. Going to stabilized, and we're going to bring it in for a landing. The reason I'm going to stabilize for landing is this thing is moving so quickly that you could easily overshoot where you're trying to land. It's... <laughs> it's it's real touchy. So let me put another battery in. We'll go for a second flight or a third flight. Okay, third flight. I'm going to go into air mode for this flight. And adjusted my goggles. Brand new battery. Arming. Oh, that's not armed. That's armed. Yep, definitely air mode because the, the propellers are spinning. It's fast. Okay, yeah, in air mode, this this can do aggre or more aggressive uh, maneuvers a little more easily. Going around this way. Going over here. And I'm hoping, it, it seems that receiver is working a little bit better now since I adjusted Hello. the receiver. Where's those birds coming? Where are they at? I hear them. <laughs> I took it all over. They're not coming our way? No. Okay, let me fly, do some flybys then. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> See what I mean? This thing takes off like a banshee. Just at a, a moment's notice, so you... You know, if you're not used to acceleration like this, you're going to be surprised with this little little thing. This thing's a, a mean machine <laughs> for a brushless, or I mean a brushed motor drone. This thing is got power. It has the power and the speed and agility too. You know, in air mode. Put it in air mode, it seems to work better. <laughs> I'm enjoying it now, in air mode. <laughs> We're getting blasted with a bit of air there. Coming down, coming down. Let's see if it come by us again. <laughs> <laughs> I get lost. Uh, I'm giving you a headache while I try to watch it, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> an aggressive little machine. I'm just surprised at this thing. Okay, I'm at 3.2 volts. I better call it quits. I'm going to angle stabilized mode. Coming back down now. Yeah, it's going back up to 3.5, but we're going to call it quits there, folks. I don't want to destroy my batteries. And the wind's coming from this direction here. So let's bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Close. <laughs> I think I was close enough for government work. So hold on, folks. Let me turn off this goggles before I do anything. Um, hit that camera DVR. And stopping the video. Okay, I got the video. That's what I want to make sure I got. So, uh, let me get out of this chair. Thank you, love. So what do I think of this QX90C? This thing is a little banshee. I mean... You know, it, it's, it does need some adjustment of the PIDs, but uh, even so, this thing 
has got the power. I was, I am really surprised at this. Uh, it is an aggressive little machine. Now it's made of plastic. You know, you, you know, you can break it. I guess if you hit in the wall or hit hit hard on something, you're probably going to want to replace that plastic. But again, they got uh, plastic ver or. They have parts available it's apparently already you know the, since this is being included with the advanced model so uh, i think this is going to be a popular hit because of the way this this thing flies it's so aggressive so hope you enjoyed this flight this quadcopter 101 signing out <laughs>